husband is sleeping. Today is going to be a very productive and good day. I have two appointments scheduled for today. I have a chiropractor appointment in the morning before work and then an eye doctor appointment right after work. If I'm being honest, I've had a rough past couple of days and today I wanna to completely turn that around. So wish me luck, fingers crossed, and it's gonna be a good day. absolute mess today because we actually have people doing construction inside the house. We are adding a wall to make that first room into an office and adding some French doors like we said we were going to. So it's just been slightly chaotic. We've moved all of the furniture that was in there into our living room and yeah, but they are almost done and it's looking really good. All right, I'm grabbing my vitamins and then heading out the door and it's still cold enough to wear a coat. So I'm gonna put that on. Virginia weather has been very up and down lately. Yesterday it poured and today I think it's supposed to be like in the 50s. After work, I just arrived to my eye doctor appointment, so I'm about to go in and do that. I'm also on empty, so I need to get gas afterwards and then head on home. Oh my goodness, you guys, I just got home and I just saw the final finished wall and French doors in our office downstairs and I can't wait to show you guys. But first, I have a little sunglasses haul for you guys. This video is actually sponsored by Soho's Vision and I am so excited to show you guys four pairs of sunglasses that I got from them. They are actually an Amazon bestseller in women's sunglasses and they are super affordable, which is such a big plus. They are trendy, they are stylish, and they are good quality. And one more thing before I try them on, they've actually offered you guys an exclusive discount code for 10% off your purchase if you use the code RebeccaJoy in the Soho's Amazon store. First up, we have these 90s style trendy aviator sunglasses. They are more of a square shape and they have polarized lenses. I really love how they cover a large portion of my face. If I ever wanna go out, not wear makeup, and not really be seen, these are what I'm gonna wear because I still look good doing it. The next pair we have is another pair of aviator sunglasses. They're more of a rectangle shape. They have some goldish colored accents on the side. These ones specifically are in the color brown tortoise, but they also have many other options. I am so excited about this next pair. It has more of a thick frame, kind of like chunky, but it's very like slender and chic. There's also a star on the side of it. These lenses are also polarized. Last but certainly not least, we have this pair of aviators. They're more of that vintage classic look. They come in many different colors, but this pair is in the color khaki gradient brown. And they actually have some carved letters at the top too, which says extraordinary. And I'm a girly who loves some affirmations. So this just makes me feel good wearing these. Once again, if you wanna buy a pair of Soho's sunglasses from Amazon, please use my code RebeccaJoy for 10% off your order. And if you got one of the pairs that I have, let me know so that I know we're twins. And thank Thank you to Sohost once again for sponsoring this video. It means the absolute world to me. All right, let me go show you the wall and the French door that was put up in the office downstairs. Are you ready for this? It looks completely different. Our living room is slightly a disaster because like I said, we had to move everything from the office into the living room. If you remember from before, this entire wall was not here. It was just a completely open room, but we just added the walls and this French door. 
It looks so good. I'm so happy with how it turned out. Look how freaking cool that light is. Oh my gosh. So that's pretty much it. I love how it turned out. When you try to have an office that's just right when you come in the front door and everything's open, it's not very private, I guess. So I'm really, really happy with how this turned out. Also, I'm sorry if there's an echo because this hallway is so echoey. I'm gonna start making dinner because your girl is so, so hungry. Again, just ignore the mess everywhere. Oh my gosh, I have one more house update to show you guys. Like I said, we've been wanting to get curtains and we finally found the ones that we want on Etsy. We ordered two of them just to make sure that they were really what we want and that they look good and they put them up so I'm going to show you now. He hasn't put the end caps on yet but he did mount the black rod and then we went with white linen curtains from Etsy. I absolutely love that they still let some light in. I just think that they're so so pretty and I can't wait to put curtains up in the rest of this house because as you know we have like a line of houses right behind our house and they can literally see in every single night so I'm excited to finally have some privacy. Okay and now that I'm finally done with the house updates I'm going to start cooking some dinner. I actually do have some Trader Joe's tomato and roasted red pepper soup. This stuff is literally so good so I might eat this but I know I'm still gonna be hungry but we do have some leftover rice or I could do this and some pasta with it. That could also be good. I have some chickpea penne pasta or some organic brown rice pasta. All right I've decided on the chickpea penne and the tomato soup. I am so excited. favorite pasta sauce is the ragu classic alfredo sauce i've just always loved this ever since i was a kid and then i also like to put some grated parmesan cheese on my pasta as well as a tiny little bit of some garlic salt Before I developed my gluten intolerance, I used to crush up Ritz crackers and put them in my tomato soup and it was literally so good. You know, I was just thinking I should start filming these types of videos on Thursdays more often because I don't know if you can tell, but I have so much more energy and joy on Thursdays. When I film on other days, I genuinely feel like I'm just exhausted. And I think that's because working in the office drains me so much. But Thursday nights are literally one of my favorite favorite nights of the week because I know on Friday I get to work from home and then I have the weekend. I'm taking off all of my jewelry because I'm about ready to take a shower, but I kind of want to have a little chit chat with you guys, kind of open up and get vulnerable a bit more, share something that I've been struggling with lately. So let's go get cozy. I'm so sorry if this lighting is terrible. I set up my little sunlight lamp behind me just for to add a little bit of vibes, I guess, but Anyway, I kind of go through waves of confidence regarding YouTube and putting myself out there on the internet. When I first started my channel, I had so much imposter syndrome. I felt like, who am I to make YouTube videos? Who in the world would want to watch me? I'm not qualified enough for this. I'm not talented or engaging or funny enough for a YouTube channel. I worked through the self-doubt and I pushed myself and slowly but surely I started Started to gain confidence in it but there are a lot of times where my confidence wavers recently I have genuinely been dealing with so much self-doubt it's crazy because I've been doing this for over a year now I would have thought that by a year I'd feel confident at this I'd feel like I knew what I was doing, I'd get in a groove, I'd feel comfortable in front of the camera, but for whatever reason, I feel the complete opposite of that. I've been doing this for over a year and every time I go to film a video, I freak out. I start to have all of these doubts in my head, thinking that I don't know what I'm doing, I'm not good enough, that I can't create another good video. Oh, it's just, 
And I prove myself wrong every time. I end up filming the video, I end up feeling really proud of it. So I keep proving to myself that I am good at this, but I still feel that doubt in my head every single time. So when it came to even filming this video, I don't know what it was, like I just have so much doubt in myself and I feel like I don't know what I'm doing. And it's like, come on, Rebecca, like you've made over 60 videos, I think at this point, you know what you're doing, but I still don't believe that I do. I don't know. I kind of just wanted to get that off my chest and share that with you guys that like, I literally feel so insecure a lot of times about my YouTube videos and about me as a creator, I guess. And I'm really, really trying to work through that. I feel like I'm rambling and I don't know if any of that made sense, but if you also struggle with self doubt, just know that you're not alone. Be scared and do it anyway. I know I say that literally all the time, but that is my life motto. That's something that I try to live by every day. And a lot of times I fail at that, but a lot of times I end up being true to that. And every time I make a YouTube video, that's me facing that fear. That's me being scared, but doing it anyway. So I hope that that's encouraging to you guys that if you want to start something or if you are even a year into something and you still feel like an imposter and you still doubt yourself and your capabilities, just keep on going and eventually your confidence is gonna grow, but just know that that voice in the back of your head may always be there, but you ultimately control you. You control your actions and not the voice that's in your head. Don't give it that power. Thank you for coming to my TED talk. I'm gonna go shower now. spend a few minutes before bed reading this book. It's called Breath as Prayer. And actually one of you guys recommended it to me. So thank you so much for that. I bought it right away on Amazon and I'm really excited to get into it. It looks like each page is its own section. So you can basically just read one page a day or whenever you feel like it. The pictures in here are also so pretty. A lot of you know I struggle with anxiety and if you do as well, maybe this book could also help you. I'll link it down below, but it's specifically to help calm your anxiety, focus your mind and renew your soul. So I'm really excited to start reading it. for watching this video you guys are amazing and thank you to Soho's for sponsoring this video it means the absolute world to me i hope to see you in the next one peace and good night